The race to create Hyperloop has begun. This test near Las Vegas this week showed how such a pod could get up to speed, though next on this particular team's agenda is to work out how to slow it down again. Several companies and research teams are working on realising this vision of a new type of human transportation. One of them is at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The team here has made a scaled down version of a pod that may someday carry people along at super high speed. So back here we have the propulsion interface. Uh, this is where the launch vehicle, a launch vehicle will push on the pod and accelerate it up to 250 miles an hour. It uses magnets to lift the pod into the air, reducing friction. Our pod is, is probably about a third to a half scale of a real size system, so we, we can't really fit a full size human. Uh, but in a real system, the idea would be to carry multiple people inside. Imagine you're at the front, sat just here. You're in a pod that's levitating. You're traveling at hundreds of miles an hour in an airtight tube propelled by magnets. Would you get in? The ride is extremely comfortable because you're levitating, so you have very little vibration. I think the goal for Hyperloop is to try and keep the acceleration and deceleration within the same kind of regime that you have on an aircraft. Plaudits of Hyperloop say these pods could be in public use as early as 2020. But doubters say it will never happen, not because of technology, but because it will simply be too expensive to build. The MIT team is now preparing to test out their pod on a real stretch of tubing. They hope to do that in August. Dave Lee, BBC News, Boston.